Red Wagon Farms, and today we are talking the reality of organic farming. Weeds. Um, we have them. A lot of people don't show you their weediest fields. Uh, here's an example of a pretty weedy field. You will see a lot of people row cultivating on stuff like this that looks beautiful, but they will never show you this. Uh, this is actually a fortunate situation, even though it looks terrible, because at least... If there's a positive to this, the corn is about six inches high and the weeds are only about an inch high. So if I have dominance by the crop, and what I mean by dominance is actual height by the crop, I can deal with it a lot easier. One of the absolute worst things that can happen is when you have quack grass and it gets as high as the corn or higher and you can't even see the crop to row cultivate, uh, that can be very, very difficult. So the name of the game when you row cultivate is to try to get enough speed where we can cover dirt in between each corn plant here. This row is a really good example of what it should look like. This is a good, a good row cultivate because I was able to throw this dirt up here. We got three or four days of really hot weather coming. A lot of guys think that you shouldn't row cultivate before hot weather. We love it because it kills everything off. Um, they believe it dries out the soil too much. We just, we just haven't really had that experience, and we we would prefer to kill more weeds. Uh, this is a this is an example of a bad row cultivate job. You can see I got I got some uh, some grass here. My speed was probably not quite as high as it should have been. Um, and I got a few few rows here that are like that. We're trying to get as much grass covered between the plants as we can. I'll show you how a row cultivator works. A row cultivator, all it is is really just a spring and we use we use sea shanks here because sea shanks we can be uh, uh, really aggressive with. Um, um, the Swedish tines and heavy residue just don't seem to do as well for, for us. These are the Viber shanks by Case that we're using in this spring. Underneath here shakes violently as this pulls and it pulls any quack grass or anything up. So it's actually lifting as it's going. We're running sweeps hat and half sweeps on these. Uh, these are the guards. Uh, we would put these down if the corn's small enough to protect the corn, and then we can run at a faster speed. So each one of these is spaced at 30 inches. So we have tines, guard, if it was down, tines, guard, tines, guard, and then the tractor is also spaced. The wheels on the tractor are spaced appropriately so the rows run at it. Uh, underneath it. We're running two rows underneath our machine and we run a six row planter which means we have a six row row cultivator which means we have a six row row combine. Right, guys this is a few weeks later and this is our second pass our second row cultivate and I wanted to show you now we do this when the corn's a little bit taller um, it's probably about a foot foot and a half tall in this one we can really fly as fast as we can so we're trying to get once again as much of that dirt up there as we can right around the stems I probably don't have my row cultivator quite tuned as well as it could because you can see these these mustard plants in here we covered some of them but I would like to get all of those out of there in a perfect situation we have this this is an example of a bad row here we have one that we don't really want these mustard plants to <laughs> seed out because then it's a seed I have to deal with next year so it's probably thin enough in here where it's not going to greatly affect the corn yield 
but we're we're looking at it more for future years so we're we're basic and you can see i got one row that's not doing quite as well as as some of the others we're also uh this is a fertilizer here we have some uh, potash this would be um, some chicken pellets this elongated stuff and some k meg and we're getting that in and activating that to get this stuff going uh, it's doing pretty good it looks good this is relatively a clean field for an organic field but the name of the game here is speed so it can be a little bit um, trying at times when you first do this but you just gotta the row cultivator is always going to follow the tractor, so you got to avoid the temptation to look back because whenever you look back, you will dig up crops. So let's give it a shot here. All right, it is mid-July, a little past mid-July, and this was a field we were row cultivating. Trying to give you guys a picture here. This one, we got about 50 acres of corn out here. And I'm not sure you can see the barley over there. There's about, what do we got, 40? There's uh, four 10-acre fields, so that's 40 over there. That All that brown stuff is what you see. But what I want to show you is the row cultivating. Now we get to kind of see how good we did. This is really pretty clean there. You're a little bit sloppy on this row unit. Probably gonna need to clean this up next year. We got a little bit of mustard in here. Here's one plant. And you can just see, now there's not weeds everywhere. It's really clean between the rows. But this quack grass came in just a little bit off because my row cultivator, for some reason on this row unit, wasn't quite set right. Not gonna do enough to, to really affect the yield, uh, or it shouldn't, I mean, as long as we have an okay growing year. Some of it has to do with where the speed gets up. Like, we're close to the end of the row. Now you can see here where the speed gets up. There's, it's pretty clean, so. And we have these, we have these big mounds, and uh, this all held good. All of our fertilizer is in, and I think this is looking like a really nice crop of corn. If we get moisture, I'm 6'2", and this is about 6'2", and it is, I think it's the 17th today, July 17th, so this is going to start tosseling pretty soon. Considering this didn't get planted until the 30th of May, it's looking, it's looking really good. So we will see how the summer holds out. But so far, so good. It uh, looks like a really nice crop, and for the most part, it's, it's really clean. Red Wagon Farms on Row Cultivating Corn.